first of all, thank you for the introduction um, and uh, yeah, welcome to the presentation of the mechanical engineering study program that we offer um, at the Rheinwald University in, in the western part of Germany, as you have seen on the map, so quite close to the Netherlands and quite close to the North Sea, um, so quite a beautiful piece of Germany, but um, not so many people live in there, yeah? so only 300,000 in this region, in this uh, um, area, but on the other hand, this university is situated just or exactly in between two, yeah, two um, big, um, yeah, let's say assemblies of uh, cities. Uh, that's on the one hand in the Netherlands, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and so on, and on the other hand, it's the Rhine Ruhr area in Germany, and altogether, it's it's just one hundred kilometer to these uh, big centers uh, from uh, from Cleves. And um, hence, it is silent place on the on the one hand. But if you would like to have some fun, uh, then it needs another 100 kilometers, and then you are in the in in, in an area where you can enjoy your life. So, um, mechanical engineering um, at the university in Cleves means you will be inspired by the passion of 100 nations. Why do we say that? Uh, because the study program is, um, yeah, let's say, uh, the students we, we will, you will find in the study program come from quite a lot of different nations because it's a completely, a complete English program and uh, we have people from all over the world and hence you will meet friends or make friends from all over the world. It's not just one country or two countries. Um, and um, this is, in the end, from my point of view, it's a kind of a microcosmos that we can see here and that's really worth to uh, to be there, to be a part of it. Let me go um, into, uh, let me give you some numbers about the university itself. So the university is a quite new university established in 2009 with um, staff, approximately 500 people uh, in total with 113 professors, uh, quite, quite new labs, quite new um, yeah, buildings, um, quite nice atmosphere. And after, yeah, let's say, 10, 12 years, we are already more than 7,000 students uh, at the two campus, one in Cleves, this is the one where I'm situated, and the other one in Camp Linford, approximately 60, meter, 60 kilometers away from the campus I'm talking about. So the entire university is, uh, um, is divided into four interdisciplinary faculties. As you can see, it's a technology and bionics technology uh, um, a faculty where I come from. And then we have three more um, faculties with different focus, but we all work together quite a lot. More than 75% of the degree programs are taught in English language. And that means it's not the mechanical engineering alone. You're also able to to have a look at other study programs. And you can also select some courses from other study programs if you want. To give you an, an idea of how the campus looks like, uh, here, here are some pictures of the campus. On the one hand, you can see that there is water. Yeah? So there's a canal going through the campus. So, and you can also see these nice uh, white buildings. These are our faculty buildings, brand new. There's quite a lot of uh, very um, modern labs in it. Uh, at night, it looks slightly different, but it's beautiful as well. And you can also see this old building here in the center, which is our library. Um, and this has been kept from the, from the port that was uh, at this place before the university has been established. You can also see the Audi Max, which is our building where we do all the lectures with you. And what is quite important, uh, the homecoming cup after, after the summer break, uh, all the students come back and then there is a big competition on the campus and all of them are happy to be back uh, on the one hand and celebrate uh, the summer once again. So let us have a look at uh, the study program itself. First of all, there are two guys responsible for the study program and that's Professor Gabel, who is a professor for thermodynamics and it's me on the other hand. Um, and if you would like to contact us, you can see our email addresses, um, but um, it's not necessary to write them down right now. There will be a QR code in the end where you can get further information. Um, we too are responsible for the organization of the study program. And sooner or later, if you decide to study in Cleves, um, you will be in contact with us. 
What are we talking about if we're talking about mechanical engineering? First of all, it's a study program called Bachelor of Science. Hence, it's not a Bachelor of Engineering that we do. Even though we are a University of Applied Science, our focus is on scientific uh, working. Hence, this bachelor is applied on the one hand, but it's theoretical on the other hand. So we try to combine uh, skills uh, in this um, program that, from our point of view, are necessary for what you should be able to do in the future. You need um, a good uh, theoretical background on the other hand, and on the other hand, you need um, the motivation to do applied things, to test it, to uh, to destroy it, to um, make it once again, and to uh, go deeper into detail, to disassemble it again, and to assemble it once more. The standard duration of the study program is seven semesters. All lectures are in English language, as said already, practical orientation on the one hand, in quite a lot of uh, modules you will find uh, not only lectures, but also exercises and practical um, trainings uh, that will take place in our labs. We have, we've tried to um, yeah, generate kind of an innovative course content with a major and a minor uh, in these uh, subjects. It means in the end, you will not only be a um, um, bachelor of mechanical engineering, you will also have a minor if you want, uh, for example, process engineering, then you are an expert in exactly that field. I said it's highly interdisciplinary. Uh, it's an international flair with fellow students from all around the world. And you, as I said, you can make friends. That's quite easy here. And we have a, an internship semester abroad, which takes place in the, uh, or a semester abroad, which will take place in the sixth semester. So even if you are if you are from another country, you once again have the chance to go to a third country, for example, to do your internship or to do your semester abroad. I come to that point a little bit later, once again. If we have a look at uh, the content of the course, then it's a kind of a mix or a combination of three parts which are important for us. On the one hand, we have that big toothed wheel, which is mechanical area uh, engineering. Um, please excuse these uh, toothed wheels are not really nice, but that is what a PowerPoint enables us to take. Uh, mechanical engineering is the biggest part of it, that's clear. But we combine it with soft skills such as cross-cultural management or conflict management because we believe that this is a part of your daily business later on. It, you need to have the basics about mechanical engineering, but you also have to be familiar with how to work in teams, uh, how to discuss and communicate with people from other countries. This is what uh, what has to be taught in the soft skills part. And additionally, we have this economics part, which takes place already in the first semester. So from our point of view, um, we always have to keep an eye on, on the money that has to be spent. And what comes on top uh, to these three uh, gears is a fourth one, which is sustainability, not shown here, but this becomes more and more important in our study programs. So this combination of these four different competencies that you will have in the end of the study program enable you to do a good job in a company, whatever the company is. If we have a look at the curriculum, then you can find some, yeah, let's say, um, common uh, subjects for mechanical engineering, you can see uh, there's a focus on math. Yeah? So without math, no mechanical engineering, you need to have basic, um, basic uh, knowledge about, and, and perhaps a little bit more deepened uh, knowledge about mathematics, uh, that's clear. Uh, we also have kind of a row here, as you can see, with engineering, drawing and design, advanced, uh, advanced engineering design, product design, and finally a group project where you work together with your fellow students to realize a certain component, for example. All that is um, arranged in a way that one subject follows another one, hence the knowledge from the subject before is relevant for what happens next. That's quite important. It's not that you can jump from first semester to third semester and back to second. No, there is a kind of a sequence uh, designed into the curriculum, which has to be followed. Another part I would like to show you, which is from our point of view um, important, is this focus, focus field down here, where you can see there are four subjects in total. Hence, you're able to select subjects which fit to what you would like to do in the future. 
Um, the competencies are more or less independent from these focus fields, but the theoretical content or the knowledge about a, the expertise in, in a certain field can be um, generated here. So um, again, I come back to that a little bit later, but this enables you to get a minor. Yeah? So you have this mechanical engineering uh, study program on the one hand, but you perhaps are um, um, an expert in sales. Yeah, for example, if you would like to work in a sales department or you're an expert in bionics because you like uh, this combination in between machines on the one hand and what you can learn from nature on the other hand. So this curriculum is, yeah, let's say, um, clearly defined. Uh, each of these um, cells in this table are worth six, uh, five credit points. So in total, you collect 30 credit points per semester over five semesters and then it's more or less done with the theoretical part. Uh, certainly it's not a fully uh, theoretical part, but then it's um, then it starts with something totally different because then we uh, go over to the sixth and seventh semester. If we have a look at um, our colleagues and at what they do, uh, then we cover quite a large um, area of uh, mechanical engineering subjects. It starts with, mechan with, with materials, yeah? so we have experts that look deep into the materials that uh, describe or uh, develop uh, certain nano-modified uh, surfaces, for example. We have these guys doing some electrical stuff uh, here, it's, it's, a, it's a bulb, but uh, in the end we're also talking about battery storage of energy, which uh, comes on top, yeah? so which is not uh, pure mechanical engineering, but there's also a me mechanical engineering part in it. Um, we are having some tools, quite a lot of tools, to be able to calculate components uh, with FEM, with CFD, which, which are tools to, let's say, to describe the flow of something or with, which describe, describe um, the stressing of a component. All that comes into play. You can see the pictures here. And also 3D printing, 3D modeling, as well as virtual prototyping is something that becomes more and more important in these study programs. And you can, you can uh, get the first, uh, do the first steps into these fields and work in an, um, yeah, let's say, augmented reality uh, um, lab uh, to find out um, how things belong together, how to do, uh, for example, a service on a machine which is not there. Uh, you just have this lab and the uh, screens and these screens enable you to go deeper into de detail. Nevertheless, um, it's also the old fashioned production which is needed in the end. Yeah? So finally, something has to be made, something has to be realized, and you can also go deep into these production department uh, welding, but uh, not only uh, the traditional um, welding, but also the um, spot welding, for example, which is necessary for mass production. So quite a lot of things that come together. And as soon as we talk about production, for example, uh, it becomes clear that it is not only the way how to make it, but also the way how to make it cheap and sustainable in the end. And certainly we destroy parts as well to find out um, what happened to these parts or what are the uh, characteristics of a part. And this is also something applied. So you as a student will also be um, involved in projects where we destroy components just to find out um, if the material was okay, if the stressing was okay, and so on. Yeah. So we have big machines to do so. We have um, labs for material science uh, to be able to go deep into the materials, and all that is possible. And as you can see, these large number of different fields it will enable you to find what, what is most interesting for you. Perhaps you come and would like to be an automotive engineer in the end, um, when you go, you will do something totally different because you will realize that there are quite a lot of other fields which are much more interesting than, um, than the one you, dis, uh, you thought about in the beginning. The focus fields, um, once again, so I, I try to give you an example. Process engineering is one of these focus fields, and in that focus fields, uh, some others are design, machinery and systems, simulation, validation, technical sales, and bionics. In this process engineering focus field, you will have four more um, subjects which are close to process engineering, which give you further uh, information about how to handle these systems. And finally, you get 
a major in mechanical engineering and a minor in process engineering. That is what, you would, what will be on your certificate in the end. The sixth semester is, uh, there we have two options. On the one hand, you can do an internship in a company, for example, a company in Germany. Um, this is recommended if you want to start your career after the bachelor study program, um, and you would like to do a thesis, for example, in that company and start as an engineer there. And the option number two is a semester abroad, means not in Germany. Um, it can also be a, a semester in your home country. I don't know if it makes sense, but uh, it would be possible. That is, from my point of view, a really good alternative if you would like to go deeper into research and development, become a, and, and try to follow a more theoretical approach. The entire study program ends in the seventh semester where there is a preparation, where there are some preparation workshops for scientific writing and scientific methods, finally the bachelor thesis and the colloquium, and then it ends. You know? So again, two semesters, which are more or less completely individual. Um, so it is not guided by us, it's more guided by you. Uh, you decide what you would like to do in that phase. So let, let me give you some more information about the application and the requirements. The application of the study program, uh, which will be offered in the winter term, or which, which always starts in the winter term only, uh, is usually until August. You know, so until then, you have to upload all the, um, the documents and um, the deadline I said is in August. What are the requirements? Uh, in, normally you will be in contact with our uh, student service center and they will give you some further information. You will also be guided by an electronic process where you um, get to know what you have to upload and what is needed in the end. So what is, need, what is needed at least, you need an, a certain academic qualification um, comparable or equivalent to the German entry qualification for universities of applied science, which is under normal conditions, so-called Fachhochschulreife. Um, as soon as you have Abitur, it's not a problem anymore. You also need to submit a proof of an eight-week internship, which takes place before the study program starts. That's uh, the reason for that is that we would like you to get familiar with the mechanical engineering content, uh, to see some, some components, to see some machines, to know what we're talking about, and to get the feeling for the stuff. And finally, uh, the application process, as said already, is um, supported by a certain portal called UniAssist, where you have to upload all the documents and where you will be guided through. Another point, uh, student fees. We are a um, public university and hence uh, studying at a public university uh, as, as the University of uh, Applied Science in Cleves will cost you around 300 euros per semester. What you get for this is a mandatory social service contribution, um, support of university sports, um, student rep representative body will be financed by, by doing so. And what is most important, a free transportation ticket for the entire uh, state of North Rhine-Westphalia, uh, which enables you to, um, to reach nearly every point in, in North Rhine-Westphalia without uh, having a car. So it's 300 euros for, uh, for the enrollment into this, in the semester, so twice a year means 600 euros per year is what you need, but therefore you get the ticket, which is even more worth more. What else has to be taken into consideration? There's an accommodation needed for you, but there are quite a lot of dormitories in, in Cleves, and uh, there are also quite a lot of private flats that you can hire. Uh, living costs in this region is approximately 850 euros per month. These are, includes expenses for the rent of the flat, uh, food, clothing, uh, leisure activities, uh, additional taxes and fees. So there is nothing else um, than that. Certainly it depends a bit on you if it is more costly or less costly. Yeah, so about 850 euros per month is what we calculate with and what we recommend you to have as, uh, as a amount of money that is available. Okay, I try to do it as quick as possible. I'm not sure if I'm still in the time or not. Um, we finally come to the personal requirements. So it will not work if you're, if you're doing this study program just because you think you can earn a lot of money if you're an 
mechanical engineer in the end. It's it needs uh, some prerequisites uh, to be able to do so. You have to be good in in, in the natural science uh, subjects. You have to be interested in STEM subjects, especially in, in math as well, because this is an important part. You have to be curious and motivated to go deeper into detail. Ideal is if you have some first experience with programming and computers, some experience with standard software tools. Uh, what is needed from my point of view and, and what is not given nowadays that much is a special thinking and a sketching abilities, because sooner or later you have to do exactly that, because that's a part of our language. You also need language skills, which is more or less English in our case, uh, but to be a part of, uh, of the community in Cleves, for example, we recommend to learn German as soon as possible because uh, the guys in uh, the supermarket, they will not be that familiar with English uh, under normal conditions. Hence, you have to learn German as well. Creativity and perseverance and finding the best solution is what you finally need. And thinking outside the box and teamwork are really important parts of it. So finally, if I have to summarize it, it's not just a driving license. It's much harder than that, and you have to work harder for that. And this is what you should know. Yeah? So to um, just to do it because you believe uh, you can earn a lot of money in the end is not the right motivation to do such a study program. Nevertheless, I'm sure that all of you can do this study program if they want and if they are motivated and uh, work hard for success. If you need some further information, then you can uh, copy this or follow this uh, QR code. There you will be guided to our web page where you can see the module descriptions for the single modules I presented before. And you can also see um, um, some, some basic further information about the study program. And you can also find uh, the contact address to get in contact with Professor Gabriel or with me. Thank you for your attention. And uh, then I would like to stop now. Hopefully I'm still in the time.